Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at constructing a trust frame, three frequency, flat bottom crush style dome. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but uh, what it is basically is a three frequency dome. Most people know that. It's been adjusted to have a flat bottom. It has actually two uh, levels which are flat, just below this pentagon here. That's a flat line and on the bottom that we have there now. Uh, and we thought I'd take this opportunity to walk you through how I design and how I um, put the SketchUp models together of the uh, Wanger Flange designs. What we start with first is, you'd call it like a, uh, it's like a paper model. It's just a, uh, just the geometry. Um, there's no um, struts or Wanger Flanges or anything. It's just purely the geometry. And that's what we start with. Uh, this will be, um, it's a, let me just check it here now. There we go. It's all one, I've made it all one component, so nothing sticks to it. So nothing will stick to this geometry. And I've uh, got some layers up here, and we've got setup, and I usually put it in the setup. But right, next up, what I'll do is I'll turn fog off, turn off the um, all of the, uh, and the shadows. Uh, the fog and the shadows make things uh, view. Let's have a look. Fog and shadows make things look nice for when you finish, but for working, we don't need them on. Right, I've done a bit of work on here, uh, and I've set up because it's uh, it's quite boring the setup, and it t it takes about an hour. Um, but what we can do is uh, have a look at what I've done so far. I've put some discs in. I'll just extrude these to make tubes. And I've put set up some wanger flanges. What I do is I set set them in line with the strut. And we then drop them down to match this face. Now this is why it's handy to have a paper model. Because if you don't have a paper model, there's nothing to align the wanger flanges with. I reckon there's about six different um, strut lengths. Now all we have to do is build one of each. We don't have to... Um, and then all we do is copy those and paste them around the dome to build the full dome. So once we've made these six um, struts with wanger franges at the correct angle on the end, uh, that's most of the work done. Everything after that is copy and paste. Okay, now we've done all the um, different struts and colour coded them, uh, what we need to do next is we'll do a little bit of checking. Uh, I will take two long flanges on this end. Two long flanges on this end and that strut and make a group. Make group. Now that's all one unit. So from here, I can uh, do some testing, which is we'll rotate it around and make sure that it lines. Yeah, not so good lining up. That was it. Uh, check that it lines up with this one flange. So what effectively we need to do is we need to shorten this blue one. So uh, what I'll do is, show, I'll show you here. This one flange here. Need to just move out the way so that the holes line up a wee bit better. Now, if you know, here's a good point actually. Now you notice that um, this hole is in line, but this one isn't. What we'll do is we'll swap that over. There you go. That's, and uh, this one's behind that. That's now the correct 
alignment there we go that's that's totally fine there now I think so that's effectively shortened this strut a little bit there we go so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll go around all of the struts double checking um, and then I'll remove them all and go back to one each and show you from there how I uh, build the whole structure so now we have um, each colour coded strut has two wrong flanges on either end and we're ready just to copy paste this into a full sphere.